Many flight cancellations, many passengers are looking into other options to make it to their destinations. And that is leading to some long lines at the car rental counters where people are looking to try and book vehicles. On your side, Taylor Levesque has been checking all this out for us. She's live at the airport and right behind you now, not too bad, but I understand it was different earlier today. Yeah, the line here down here in the car rental lines, especially here at Avis car rentals was very long today. And believe it or not, this is the shortest I've seen it all afternoon. I just counted. There's a little over more than about 20 people in line, and that was probably triple earlier today. Just the people telling me that they waited more than 30 minutes just to find out if they can even get a car. It took us longer to get our rental car than it did for us to fly here. Traveler Kevin McAndrew says he stood in line at Avis rental cars at Jacksonville International Airport for 90 minutes to redeem his rental car reservation before finally making it to the desk. They said for whatever reason, our preferred number is preferred desk and our preferred number didn't sync with our reservation for whatever reason, even after showing our preferred account, uh, they still wouldn't help us. We had to get in line with everybody else, which is fine. It just took 90 minutes. Other customers tell me they also had advanced reservations, but still had to wait with everyone else requesting cars. And when our cars were ready, they told us it's going to be 30 more minutes because they have to clean them. The lines at Hertz, Enterprise, Budget, and Dollar Car Rentals stayed pretty short Tuesday afternoon. Jacksonville International Airport has seven companies offering car rentals to travelers. Only a few people who didn't have a reservation told me they were turned away because of availability. Others with reservations say they were able to get cars. McAndrew says he is an Avis preferred customer and wishes for better customer service in the future. We come here a couple times a year. It's usually pretty easy, and today it was just not their best. I spoke to a per spokesperson for the airport today. They tell me that the airport doesn't track rental cars, but says there are still available. You will see signs around the airport like this one right behind me that Avis has. that says cars are available. Hertz also has a sign on their desk that say cars are available. I went online tonight just to check it out for myself of all these companies if they do still have cars available. And so far, every company has cars available for rental tonight on their website. In Jacksonville, Taylor Levesque, First Coast News on your side.